I'm the founder and the director of Miss Real Beauty, as well as MissRealBeauty.com. I've been in the industry for about eight years. I was missing the Commonwealth about two years ago. So I knew what my experience was like of pageants, on, of how pressured I felt to be in a certain way, um, you know, how controlled it was, how rigid it was. And I just thought that it's about time that there was a completely new twist to the pageant industry that we came out with, this is what, you know, this is what a pageant should represent in terms of this is what real women are about and it's about bringing them all together within one, one location and for them to put on a show and just to feel confident about themselves and without being, being kind of, without them feeling as though they need to be in a certain size, shape or they can't be married or they can't have kids, come on, this is about celebrating womanhood to its maximum. I just thought within the pageant arena, within the catwalk arena, within the modelling arena, I think that at the forefront there needs to be a show that takes place that people can go to. You know, you can't go to see a Dove advert. You see it on telly, yeah, it's amazing exposure. It's amazing, but I just thought that this is just another avenue to promote the same message but in a different way. We are trying to put a message across that, look, be happy with yourself. You know, you don't need to be in a certain way that, certain way, shape or form or size, um, you know, just just kind of follow your dreams and be, it's, it's about confidence, it's about the real woman not conforming to certain stereotypes and I think that in this day and age where eating disorders, body disorders are such a big, such a big issue, I think it's about time that the media reflected through something like Mr. Ruiji that, you know what, things are going to change and things have changed.